Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Preeti here who's recently got into Techion as a full-time employee as well as an intern. So she's here to share her interview experience with us. So before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So the eligible branches were computer science, IT and ECM, 70% or 7 CGP above in 10th and 12th and the same percentage or CGPA in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to her. Hi Preeti, welcome to my channel. Uh, firstly, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. So, hello everyone, I'm Preeti and I'm from VIT Chennai and uh, I'm currently in my final year of uh, BTEC and I'm from computer science and engineering background and I got placed in TechUn so today I'm going to uh, share uh, the, my experience uh, about the placement. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, now you can uh, start telling us about the rounds that were there and what they had. Uh, so, uh, uh, the TechUn uh, have come to VIT and we had uh, four rounds. So the first round was uh, a normal, uh, the online test round, which consisted of MCQs and the coding part, as usual, like uh, all other companies have. And the uh, coding questions, well, there were two coding questions, and the MCQs were, uh, I think, around 15 to 20 MCQs were asked, and uh, the MCQs uh, were asked from uh, all the core subjects of uh, CSC, like operating system, BBMS, and uh, the questions, more questions were asked from Java multi-threaded programming. And as uh, part of uh, coding questions, uh, the first coding question was easy to medium difficulty and the second question was medium to hard difficulty. So I was able to solve one coding question, uh, but the second one I was not able to solve. Uh, but still I got uh, into the second uh, round which is uh, the technical interview round. Okay. And as part of technical interview round, uh, my interviewer have given me an option to choose either the coding part or uh, uh, the project part. Okay. So the project, uh, in the sense, uh, like uh, he asked me to uh, develop a tic-tac-toe game. So it was not like simple game, but uh, he asked me to add all the functionalities and uh, it was like uh, the uh, uh, to draw the whole structure of the game and code for that. Okay. So it went for half an hour and uh, the coding part and the next half an hour went for uh, uh, went about the other uh, technical questions like uh, DSA and uh, DBMS operating system. So they were basically testing our basics okay. and I also explained about my uh, the previous internship which I did in Optum. So I think the most of the time was covered uh, where I had to explain the uh, uh, about projects and uh, the basic questions. Okay. So the one hour, uh, the, f the first round went for one hour. Mm. So after that, uh, I got a call for the second round, and again the second round went for one hour. But this time there were no uh, other questions uh, regarding the basic uh, questions. It was just of uh, DSA coding, and which was. Uh, which I got to uh, write code in uh, the online platform and I shared my screen. Okay. So the question was coin denomination and uh, first I uh, tried to solve using uh, easy method and then uh, the interviewer asked me to uh, write other methods as well like uh, the optimized solution and all. So after giving like two to three uh, uh, solutions uh, and explaining everything and getting the complexities, so I think uh, like 5 to 10 minutes were left out uh, and in the last 5 to 10 minutes uh, I was uh, asked all the uh, simple DBMS questions like operating system, very simple questions. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so it went for one hour and uh, as I was able to get the output for the code and so I think I got select, uh, like I was sure about that time. Mm. And after that uh, I got a call uh, for HR account. Okay. So the HR was like almost, it was similar to all other company HR rounds. Uh, so the HR round again, uh, there were a lot of behavioral questions asked like uh, the situations and also uh, the many uh, uh, questions regarding our personal activities, achievements and all the questions were asked. So uh, the HR questions were simple. So it was like uh, basically other uh, HR question, other company HR questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so after HR, I think uh, they just announced the results and so mostly people who got till HR round uh, are already selected. Mm. So this is my experience. 
Okay, okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and congratulations again uh, on your yeah, placement. Thank you. Uh, and do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into tech AI? So, like suggestions, I think uh, the first coding, uh, the first round online test uh, is uh, the most cut off uh, round for like uh, they had uh, selected only few students. Uh, so, uh, people I think should have uh, basic uh, knowledge about all these. core subjects of uh, uh, computer science and also they had to uh, study and uh, practice more on uh, coding questions like computer programming and uh, refer websites and also uh, you know like join lead code and geeks for geeks and all and for technical interview i think uh, so uh, i think it is also important to get a uh, good a uh, resume so add all the project important projects which you had done in the resume and you should also be able to explain about the projects and uh, so i think uh, the resume is also important part and even for the technical round uh, they asked the coding question so uh, you had to be in a position to explain the optimized solution as well uh, so that is it and for hr i think it just like uh, the basic questions and so just get uh, all your uh, achievements and everything your weakness and all so that is okay it. okay yeah thank you so much again and yeah thank you